This question is from Mario. Mm -hmm. He asks, Hello, how Mario. much... <laughs> <laughs> from Sweden, I gather. I think so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is Mario from yeah. Sweden. How much is spirit influence increasing my fear? None at all. <laughs> This is something that a lot of people tell themselves when they hear about spirits. They go, oh, these spirits are doing this to me or these spirits are doing that to me. These spirits are increasing my fear or whatever. No, they're not increasing it. It's already there. They're attracted to it. They're manipulating it. They're using techniques to heighten it so that you can start to feel it. But it's actually a positive attraction. Your soul is attracting these spirits in order to help you understand that your soul is in fear. And that whenever they say or, or whenever they particularly suggest things to you that cause your fears to increase, it's not that your fears are increasing. It's that, that you're now becoming sensitive to what fear is really there in the first place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? And that, there's a big difference between increasing fear and actually feeling the fear of what is there in the first place. Mm -hmm. It's increasing his ability to feel the fear that's present in him already. Mm -hmm. That's what it's doing. And it's a loving process because that's what he needs to do. He needs to allow himself to feel the fear that's already there in the first place. And while those spirits are not around him, then, of course, what they're doing is they, uh, you know, if those spirits weren't around him, mm -hmm. he wouldn't probably be sensitive to the fear that he has in, in the first place. Mm -hmm. And so, therefore, he wouldn't feel it. There's another aspect to his question, though, and that is that if, uh, if we have spirits around us and we are not feeling our fear, they manipulate us by using our fear to do think other things or to believe other things or turn us into anger, mm -hmm. right? And spirits do this very easily because what they do is they find the they find the injury in our soul, which is quite apparent to them because they can see the colours of the injury. And then what they do is they, create, they try to manufacture events around us or suggest words to us that we're sensitive to responding to because we're open in this regard to that particular problem. And so what they do is they suggest things to us or make things happen around us that cause us to, to act in harmony with our fear. In other words, do what our fear dictates. Or to be more specific, do what our addictions mm -hmm. dictate to suppress our fear. And, and this is one major way in which spirits gain control of a person on earth. What they do is they use the person's desire to meet their own addictions, the person on earth, mm -hmm. to meet their own addictions most people on earth have a desire inside yep, of themselves yep. to meet their own addictions. And so they, these spirits use that desire of the person to yep. meet their own addictions to meet the, the addictions of the spirits <laughs> as well. Yep. Right? And, of course, they'll be very attracted to a person who's willing to go along with that. Mm -hmm. right? And they'll get very angry with a person who is not willing to go along with that. Yep. And most people on earth are very afraid of anger and very afraid of attack, mm -hmm. and so they'll do almost anything a spirit suggests as a result. But that's not the spirit increasing their fear. The spirit is exposing their fear. Yep. So that's how we need to see it. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion to you, Mario, is that if you think a spirit is increasing your fear, that is not true. The spirits are exposing the true level of fear that exists within you, yeah. and that's what you need to be aware of. And that is a loving thing. It's a loving provision if you think about it. How else would you feel this level of fear without somebody exposing it? You need to let yourself feel it so that you can release it. So like I have had tremendous amounts of fear inside of myself and so frequently I've been surrounded by spirits who are trying to increase the level of fear that's inside of me and I've allowed them to do so mm. so that I can go through the experience and feel my fear properly and release it. And it's helped me release a lot of emotions that way. Mm. So just because you get attacked by a group of spirits or attacked by people on earth, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, it's, a, it's an unloving thing towards yourself. It just depends on how you respond to it. You can respond to it in such a way that, actually, that it actually helps you. And many of the spirits who have been trying to stop me from teaching divine truth on the planet over the past few years in particular, have actually helped me work through emotions that I would have otherwise been resistive to addressing. Mm. Mm -hmm.